Oh, hey guys, Steve here from Blossom Racing. Gonna shoot one more little quick video to you. And this video is gonna be about uh, setting the spring tension on your secondary tool, on your secondary clutch. So a few, few tools that you need. Um, if you have your secondary off your uh, car, just need to get a little um, uh, secondary tool. Um, it's just a uh, little post jack shaft material that we took and uh, made into a little post with some flat edges on it so that you can uh, clamp it down into the vise. So just get that clamped down into the vise. Take your secondary and get it right on there. And a uh, quick shout out to uh, Carter Reeves. Got my shirt the other day. You guys should be out racing today. There's the back of the shirt. Just want to shout out to you guys. Good luck. Hope you guys uh, turn on some wind lights today. All right, back at it. So the tool that you're going to need is this inch pound torque wrench, kind of old school, uh, just a little finger. This is a Pressa uh, inch pound torque wrench. Um, you can get these pretty cheap off of Amazon. And then you just need a uh, Allen head uh, bit for it. This is, uh, I think it's a quarter. Um, the reason why you need the, the Allen head, sometimes you'll need like a uh, 3 8 or a 7 16 socket on the end of it. Just depends on what um, bolt you have on your helix that holds your helix on. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to check your spring tension. So in past, we always ran. Um, a high spring pressure, um, and high I mean 65, 75 inch pounds. And uh, we've been kind of playing around with that. And uh, lately, um, I have been finding out that 45, 50, 55 inch pounds is actually going to make your car quicker, a um, little bit faster ET. Uh, so the purpose of the secondary, um, real quick, let me just tell you about that. The purpose of the secondary, the secondary is kind of the supervisor of, of the whole clutching system. And it basically tells the primary clutch when to do what the primary clutch does. And what I mean by that is the tighter your spring is on your secondary, the primary clutch is going to go farther down track because the secondary is not allowing the belt to go out on the primary and in on the secondary uh, as quick as what it would if you had it set up loose like 50 inch pounds. So 50 inch pounds versus 75 inch pounds. 75 inch pounds, the car's going to go further down track before it shifts. It's going to have higher RPM um, and it's basically going to grab a hold of that belt really tight. It loads the motor really hard uh, because it just doesn't allow it to slip. Okay. So just the opposite happens if you're at 50 or 45 inch pounds. So now the belt is going to slip a little bit more when it takes off. Um, so it's going to give you a lot softer of a launch. It's not going to grab a hold as quick. Um, and it's going to shift a lot sooner. So it's also going to lower your RPMs. Um, so that's basically what you get uh, when you change your secondary. Um, uh, and us personally, now we're running probably around 50, 55 inch pounds. Like I said, we used to run 65, 70. So let me get the camera. I'll get you closer to this and uh, we'll show you really quick what we're going to do. And then uh, in a minute, I will take you out in the back and we will show you how to do it basically on a car. So you're just going to pull up to your secondary. Put your tool right in there. I usually do it the same every time. I'll take the tool and make it stick out this way. Um, I'm sure you could do it like this 
in this way. See now here, doing it this way, I'm getting about 70 inch pounds. Let me try it out this way and just see what we get. Just, just as long as you do it basically the same every time. So if you see, when you're turning this, right when you see that, um, right when you see the helix starting to turn, that's when you want to take a look at it. And this one, I am getting about 55 inch pounds. And just keep in mind, I'm straight away. Now, if I take it and run it in this way, uh, run my tool right over the clutch, okay? And now I'm going to check it and see what I get. And you're just waiting for that helix to start turning. Right there it started turning. So if you check it this way, I'm up at 75 inch pounds. So how we do it is straight away, just like this, gets, gets you more leverage, gets you a truer um, reading on the, uh, on the spring. So just like that, right there, about 55 inch pounds, right when the helix starts turning. All right. So now we're going to walk you out into the um, back area of the shop here. We'll take you out to one of our juniors. Here we go. Our big logo on the side of the car. All right. So I kind of already cheated on this a little bit. And uh, so what I did is inside the car, um, I just put a two by four in there and pushed it down on the, on the brake pedal so it's not going to uh, turn. Uh, if it's sitting on the ground, you can probably put your, uh, your foot right behind the secondary tire and uh, turn it. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, so with the brakes on, uh, same thing. Just come in here. Put your tool in it, and I'm going straight away from the secondary. Yeah, I don't have enough pressure on the brakes. So let me hold the tire. Right there, the helix started moving. We're about 65 inch pounds on this one. Yep, about 65 inch pounds. All right, so you guys see how to do that. This also helps uh, for like a track. If you have a track that the uh, starting line's really bad and uh, you're spinning the tires, uh, you can always take and back your spring off one hole. So what that does is it just gives you a softer launch. Um, it allows the belt to slip a little bit more because that's all this uh, centrifugal clutch is. It, all we're doing is just controlling belt slippage. So, um, so we can just adjust on how much we want to actually control the belt slippage. So, so get your tool right in there, hold that tire. As soon as the helix starts moving, about 65 inch pounds. And, uh, Here's our big toy that we've been working on. So, all right, so uh, that should be it. Uh, hopefully this video uh, helps you guys out um, in uh, maybe tweaking in your car a little bit better. Uh, if you want a little bit more ET and you find that you're 75 inch pounds, uh, loosening that up uh, may give you a little bit better ET. So, uh, thing to play with. All right, um, so weekend, uh, this weekend, uh, so of course it's the weekend this weekend. I uh, just want to shout out to everybody at the uh, racetrack. Uh, it's still kind of cold out. Hopefully you guys got good weather, uh, no rain, and you guys are out on the track uh, making passes. 
Good luck to everybody, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much.